The classic version of 538's House forecast currently gives Democrats a 5 in 6, or about an 84% chance of winning a majority, and it gives Republicans a 1 in 6 chance. Our forecast also currently gives Democrats an average gain of 39 seats. That's close to the best Democrats have done in our model since its August launch. Let's take a closer look at West Virginia 3, which makes up most of the southern part of the state. The 3rd District is a Republican-leaning district where our classic model really differs from the polls. In fact, it's one of the districts with the largest gaps between the classic and light versions of our model. So, why the difference? Well, the district is 37 points more Republican than the country overall, and our classic model is giving Republican nominee Carol Miller an 89% chance of winning the seat. However, our light forecast, which takes into account just the polls, only gives Miller a 64% chance of winning. The polling in the district suggests a pretty close race, with some polls having Miller winning by 8 points, and others giving her opponent, Democratic nominee Richard Ojeda, the advantage. But the main reason why our classic model has Miller as such a heavy favorite is because of the fundamentals in the district, which favor the GOP. Factors such as the district's partisan lean, which again is heavily Republican, and the fact that the seat was previously held by a Republican. Those fundamental factors outweigh some of the advantages that Democrats have in the fundamentals, such as generic ballot polls and fundraising in the district. Altogether, that gives the GOP close to a 24-point fundamentals advantage. So while expert ratings such as Cook Political Report and Inside Elections lists this race as a lean Republican race, and Sabato's Crystal Ball even lists this race as a toss-up, our model thinks West Virginia 3 is a likely Republican race, with the GOP candidate pretty heavily favored to win. Visit 538.com slash house forecast to explore the model for yourself.